yeah. Even though we were both busy freaking out. Never had much use for praying. Knowing most prayers go unheard. The reason I, I tried to come up with a concept like this is because I have so many friends that are songwriters and so many artists that I know haven't been able to play live music for such a long time. Local live music used to fill the streets of Winnipeg in the warmer months, but with the impacts of the pandemic and the weather, the music scene has had to go virtual. Now, with pandemic restrictions easing, musicians like Tyler Del Pino are eager to get back on the live stage again. Having to pivot to online, then back to in-person, Nashville MB is an event Del Pino came up with during the pandemic for local Manitoba talent. When you're an artist and you're writing your own songs, you feel connected to your art. And I just wanted to try to come up with some sort of event um, that could at least highlight that artistry and like give songwriters a chance to just sing their songs. And that's really what the focus is on, original songwriting. With an in-person event on Thursday at local venue Times Changed, owner John Scholes is happy to have traffic back. What you want in the live music business is to actually interact with people in, uh, you know, in this, in this what we'll call an intimate setting. Our, our little motto is we got a lot of living to do, let's do it together. season is just starting you know once we get out of this rain and terrible weather um, but yeah I'm, I'm really excited to start seeing that community come back into Winnipeg because that's that's so much of how I kind of came up in the music scene and how I always thought about the summer is like every single weekend there was somebody playing live outdoors so I'm really really excited for that to start coming back in Winnipeg Brian Foley City News in one minute